The movie begins with a celebrity named Kimberly Caldwell driving through a remote area to an unknown location for her next movie. As she is on the phone, she accidentally runs over a stranger and comes to a stop. Kimberly is shocked by what she has just done and gets out of the car to check on the person. As she gets closer, the stranger suddenly attacks her and bites off her lip. Kimberly tries to run away but is blocked by another man with an axe. He swings his axe and splits her into two and drags her body away. The next scene shows contestants being prepped for a five-day reality show called The Apocalypse Ultimate Survivalist. The contestants are competing for the grand prize of $100,000 if they make it out of the apocalypse with the highest points. The contestants are made up of a celebrity called Kimberly, a skateboarder Jonesy, a bikini model named Elena, a graphic artist named Nina, former footballer named Jake and an Iraq veteran named Amber. The film crew find out that Kimberly will not be making it on the show, the cameraman named Michael suggests that his girlfriend named Mara should take her place. The reality show will take place in West Virginia Forest where 32 cameras have been installed all over. Some devices known as Twist of Fate have been installed in hidden places to alert and punish anyone who makes a wrong move. The participants also have cameras attached to their ears for closer footage. The show host called Dale Murphy is a former U.S. Marine gives them instructions for them to split into teams and work together to find food and with that, the game begins. We then see all the contestants head out when suddenly, the cameramen left behind are viciously attacked and killed. Next, we see Dale setting up Twist of Fate kits in different areas of the forest. When he returns to his vehicle, he finds that someone has punctured his tires with arrows. He also sees that some of the devices have been destroyed. Dale shouts out in the forest and threatens to hurt whoever is there. All of a sudden, an arrow comes shooting his way and he makes a run for it. Dale is terrified and doesn't know what is going on. He sees someone in the distance and throws his knife towards them. When he turns around, he is knocked out by someone. In the next scene, we see Jonesy and Amber walking through the forest where they find a broken arrow. She makes a spear from it to use for hunting. She tells Jonesy that she finds it strange that they haven't heard or seen any animals although they are in the forest. In another part of the forest, Mara and Nina accidentally set off a twist of fate. They get told they have been infected and that they need to go to the river for the antidote. When they get there, they see the antidote hanging from a tree branch. Mara tries to get it but manages to fall into the river with the antidote in her hand. The river sweeps her down the river before she is able to get out. In another part of the forest, we see Michael who has followed Jake and Elena to capture some real-time action. Jake doesn't like Elena's behavior as she tries to make things raunchy for the camera. Jake is only interested in playing the game and trying to win the prize and walks off. We then see Elena seducing Michael and they get intimate. Mara sees them from a distance and gets upset. Nina consoles her and tells her that she needs to rely on only herself. She tells her to forget about him and concentrate on winning the game. Mara doesn't agree and we see Nina getting angry and walking off. Meanwhile, Amber and Jonesy find a small camp with a barbecue going. They steal some food and go to find the others. Next, we see Dale waking up to find himself hanging upside down. When he looks around, he is horrified to see another man next to him who seems lifeless. Suddenly, a young cannibal appears and stabs Dale with a knife and then goes to sharpen it while smiling. Mara decides she wants to leave the game. She and Nina find a small cabin and they go inside to make a call for someone to pick them up. Inside, they see pictures of a deformed family and begin freaking out. Suddenly, they hear someone entering and quickly hide. They see a woman giving birth to a disfigured baby and can't believe what they are seeing. Unfortunately for them, they are heard and they quickly lock the door and make a run for it. As they run through the woods, Mara is killed when one of the cannibals throws an axe at her. Nina is shocked and she runs for her life throwing away her video recorder. She manages to quickly hide while another cannibal searches for her. Luckily for her, the cannibal is distracted by a truck carrying Mara's body. Next, we see Michael and Elena finishing their business and he begs her not to tell Mara. He then heads back to the RV while Elena decides to lie down and soak up some sun. She is unaware that she is being watched by a cannibal. Suddenly his wife appears and catches him in the act and begins beating him. In all the commotion, they accidentally set off a twist of fate. When Elena hears this, 
She thinks that it is Michael and she rushes to put on her clothes. From nowhere, the female cannibal appears and slashes her multiple times finishing her off. We then see both the sick cannibals getting off with each other as the killing has made them excited. In the next scene, Dale watches on in horror as he sees a cannibal cutting up the man next to him. Soon a truck arrives carrying Mara's body and Dale realizes he will be next. Using a knife, he cuts himself down and when a young cannibal turns up, he beats him and eventually eliminates him with a gun. He checks on Mara but it is too late and she is already dead. We see Dale pick up some weapons and heading out. Next, we see Michael arriving back at the RV and he goes inside to look over the video footage. Suddenly, two cannibals arrive and they jump into the RV and drive off with Michael standing there in shock. Amber and Jonesy are eating when Jake runs into them. He sits down with them and shares some food. Nina rushes towards them hysterically and tells them that Mara has been killed by some kind of cannibals. She is clearly very traumatized but Jonesy doesn't believe her. He suggests that no one has really died and this is all parts of effects created by Michael to make the game seem more real. As far as he is concerned, he wants to continue playing and win all the money. Suddenly, when they look around, they notice that the meat they have been eating has Kimberly's tattoo on there. They immediately feel sick with fear and realize they have just been eating Kimberly. They all panic and decide to leave the forest immediately. While running to safety, Nina steps on a nail and injures her foot. Jake decides to help and stay back with her. When the rest of them get back to where they started the game, they see that the RV has gone and they have to try and escape on foot. Meanwhile, Dale is seen stalking a cabin and finds someone inside. He goes in and holds the man hostage and treats his injuries. The old man explains to him that the cannibals are very strong and they became this way after being exposed to chemical waste from a river many years ago. He tells Dale he and the other are in serious danger and they should leave as soon as they can. Suddenly, the man jumps up and tries to attack Dale. Dale is far too strong and he finally blows him up and eliminate him. In the next scene, the group finds two cannibals making out but are mistaken when they think that another human is being killed. As they approach, they are shocked when they realize that they are both cannibals, they all get into a fight but Nina makes a run for it. They manage to fight off the cannibals with Amber's help and run off. While running, Nina falls into a pit and gets trapped. The others realize that she is missing and go looking for. Jake hears her cries from afar and makes his way to find her at the bottom of the pit. He manages to pull her out but dislocates his shoulder in the process. Nina helps him pop it back in and they run off to try and escape. Unfortunately, they both come to the edge of a cliff and suddenly, they are confronted by a cannibal who tries to shoot them. They have no choice and they both jump into the river. Next, we see Jonesy and Amber running through the woods when they are attacked by another cannibal shooting arrows at them. They run off but unfortunately for Jonesy, he gets caught in a trap and hung upside down. He sees cannibals quickly approaching, and he begs Amber to run away before they arrive, she tries to help them but unluckily for her, she also gets trapped. The sick cannibals arrive and smile in delight. We then see one of the younger cannibals pull out an arrow and shoot Jonesy and Amber eliminating them. Meanwhile, Jake and Nina end up at a mill and try to find Jonesy and Amber thinking they are still alive. There they find their RV amongst all the other vehicles which have been stolen by the cannibals. When Jake hears Michael scream out, he quickly rushes to the RV to help. To his horror the scream is playing out from a recording which shows how he was killed. Jake is shocked by what he sees and when he tries to leave, both him and Nina are captured and tried up by the cannibals. Unknown to them all, Dale is already at the mill and looking over Jake and Nina being taken somewhere. He sees them being tied up and suddenly, one of the cannibals cuts off Jake's private parts as he screams in agony. One of the girl cannibals forces food down Nina's mouth while she screams out for help. While Dale is moving through the mill, he accidentally sets off an alarm alerting the cannibals that there is an intruder. The cannibals scramble and quickly search for him. Dale cuts himself and leaves a trail of blood in another area to try and confuse the cannibals. We see him shooting an arrow with dynamite attached to it eliminating two cannibals. He then rushes to Nina and Jake and cuts them down but from nowhere, he is shot in the chest twice and is killed. Jake and Nina make a run for it and they get into a fight with the remaining cannibals. They try pushing Jake into a grinding machine, 
Luckily he manages to avoid getting pulled in and screams for his life. We then see Nina arriving and using a large tree, she strikes and sends the cannibals flying into the machine to their death. Finally, Jake and Nina manage to escape and are last seen traumatized driving off in their car. In the final scene, we see a cannibal who has survived feeding a baby a human finger and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.